channel. My name is Kayla. If you are a little bit of natural hair, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more videos to come. And follow me on Instagram at the OK Kayla. So in approximately five more hours, it will be December 10th for me, and it is officially graduation day. And I decided to straighten my hair again for graduation. I had it straightened for my grad photo shoot. And I showed you guys another video where I was using Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Line to see if my curls would revert back. And they did, but there were some heat stressed pieces. So I wanted to really just show my hair a lot of TLC this go around and kind of prep it before straightening it again. And also just kind of try to avoid touching it up as much as possible because I personally feel like the heat stress or slight damage just kind of came in because i was like touching up my edges that reverted and then like went back in and recurled it like one or two times so i'm going to try to avoid that at all costs and just make sure i tie my hair up properly or in this case i am going to do some flat iron curls so you guys will see my routine on that and just you know make sure i just do my pin curls with however long i want to keep them and yeah and go from there so right now my hair is in a curly ponytail i've been letting my hair kind of rest for a week and some days since the last time i had it straightened i do have little um subtle brown highlights i am thinking about going lighter after graduation so stay tuned for that but i'm going to go in and shampoo my hair with the shea moisture black castor oil shampoo so let me get that and show you. so i'm going in with this and it is the jamaican black castor oil strength and restore shampoo and then i'm going to follow up with the jamaican black castor oil strength and restore conditioner so these two as my um wash and cleansing and then i'm going in with apple g y'all know i love apple g i've always raved about their protein treatments in this case i don't really want to say this is a full blown protein treatment i just have the hair strengthening kit and step one is you just take the step one product dispense it throughout your hair and work it in on towel dried hair clean hair at that for five minutes or ten minutes for thicker hair so in my case definitely going to be ten minutes and then step two follow up with the protective moisturizer then after that i'm going to go in with my lot of body sleek me blowout lotion and then i'm going to follow up with my african pride black castor miracle anti-humidity uh heat protectant spray blow dry my hair straighten it and then show you guys the entire process so let's get to the silk press okay so i have my hair freshly washed and i'm just soaking up any extra water with my microfiber towel i'm going to go in sections with the hair strengthening kit by apple g so probably like just four sections and really trying to focus on the areas that need it the most so in my case the front portion is what needs it the most and the back section back here so yeah let's just work it in I'm really going to focus on the ends. The consistency really isn't that bad. It's not too watery or too droopy. It kind of feels like a jelly custard. So, just kind of doing the whole praying hands motion. I actually really like this way more than the liquid um, protein treatment so far. Just like for application purposes because the other protein treatment is like really messy so hopefully the results will be just as good as well so that little bit did pretty good for this one section so I'm just kind of finger detangling it through making sure it's on all those strands all right so I pretty much used this whole bottle which was actually quite enough for my full head of hair which is great now I'm just going to let this sit on for approximately 10 minutes, which is great for thicker, of course, the hair. And the product will dry and thicken the bond into areas of the damaged pieces. So I'm going to let that sit through. I don't have to put a cap on. don't have to use any heat, which is another reason why I love heat like this a little bit better than the Apple G Protein Treatment because that is super messy in the process. So 
and let this sit 10 minutes rinse out come back and follow up with step two Alrighty, these are my results after washing out step one. Now I'm going to follow up with step two, the protective moisturizer. I will say I feel a difference. It feels kind of how it normally feels after I do like a regular protein treatment. However, um, there's just still certain areas that just does what it wants to do. And so that's why I'm still contemplating right now, y'all. I'm thinking about becoming a silk press natural as I transition into post-grad life. But I'm gonna make a whole separate video for that. So I'm gonna go in with the two uh, step two moisturizer and you just apply it and leave it on for one to two minutes and then rinse out with cool water. All right, so now I am ready to blow dry. So I section my hair back into four sections and then I'm gonna go in with my Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oils Sleek Me Blowout Lotion. Um, this is good for up to seven days of straight hair. It's heat protection up to 450 degrees, def uh, defies humidity and frizz and detangles and adds shine. So I'm actually gonna go in with this over my African Bride, uh, the African Bride, <laughs> African Pride Heat Protecting Spray. I'm gonna go in with this before I straighten it just a little bit. So I'm trying not to be too heavy handed with products because I don't want it to be heavy and oily. So that's why I'm applying this Sleek Me Blowout Lotion in each four uh, quadrant literally just this much you know just something to just kind of put on the hair and that is about how much i'm going to put on and i'm not going to try to um soak it like that's just way too much so again literally just about that much per four sections and then as I go in and blow dry, I am going to separate each section into two just to make sure I'm getting it as dry and as stretched as possible for straightening. And as I began to blow dry my hair, I just started thinking about how I wanted to go about my hair journey post-grad. So I am highly considering going back to being a silk press natural. So by that, I mean silk pressing my hair every other month. And then, you know, the month that I'm not silk pressing it, I'll just do braid outs, twist styles, and any other protective style. But we will cross that bridge in 2022. So I'll check back in with you guys through that. But I'm using my Con Air Paddle Brush Blow Dryer. And I'm obsessed with this because it makes the process of blow drying so much easier and faster i will say um and it also makes it a lot easier to make sure your hair is as stretched as possible which makes the straightening process a lot easier now it's funny as i'm doing this voiceover because um i ended up deciding that i want to curl my hair for graduation and my hair did not last literally the curls and everything had dropped by the end of the night and my hair was poofy again but it was because the weather was really, really bad so I did end up you know going back in and retouching it up so that's a whole nother story but yes I am blow drying my hair on high heat I have the heat protecting in and this is my hair halfway straightened my hair is in layers when I went to get my hair cut and colored a month ago um, I had it kind of shaped back up especially in the front portion so I'm going in with my African Pride Heat Protective Spray and I kind of went in after that with the Palmer's Moisture Boost Little Serum and kind of paired those two together. Now as I went through each section or subsection I did add a little bit more heat protectant. I just didn't show it in this clip but I am going in with my Con Air Flat Iron. This is actually a dupe of the Baby Bliss flat iron that has the hot plates on the outside as well which means that this barrel is great for curling your hair which i will show you guys shortly so i actually went in on the highest heat setting i don't know about you guys but personally i'm not really afraid of heat like that even though you know my curls was already like not feeling me <laughs> after this but i like to use the highest heat setting because if i'm gonna do this whole process i'm gonna get my hair bone straight okay so this is how it looks straight and and i am gonna go lighter in 2022 y'all so yeah i'm just ready to do a full-blown transformation and i'm gonna go in and show you guys how i like to curl my hair this is my favorite thing to do now so i like to just go in and make sure that section is just straight as possible <laughs> then i'm going to divide it in two 
and just watch the technique so what i like to do is go through it one pass flip the hair over and make sure that bottom piece is sticking out as i flip it over and just pull down this is kind of like that ribbon effect and sometimes i'll kind of loop it one more time just to make it a little bit tighter in the curl and boom you got you a nice pretty little curl i'm going to pin curl my hair as i curl it i just like to pin curl them in like larger sections so i'm taking the next section doing the exact same thing in this case i am curling away from my face so again going through it one time flipping it back making sure the piece is sticking out pull down and you are creating that curl and like i said towards the ends i kind of like to kind of twirl it one more time just to make it a little bit tighter towards the end and doing this also makes me feel like my hair is getting like straighter as i curl it if that makes sense especially on the ends this is just me speeding it up and showing you how i like to clump that whole section together i twirl it around my hands and this is my friend ivy coming in she wanted to show me how she pin curl and i said nah i'm gonna still do it my way <laughs> But I take large bobby pins and large sections as I pin curl and I just go throughout my hair like that. So boom, towards the end, this is how it looks. I like to put a scarf over my head and show you guys how I take it down the next day. And yes, I got me a FAMU Rattler scarf. You know, I'm going to wrap my school today I die because now I am a FAMU alumna. But yeah. And the next day, I got all pretty for graduation. I was so excited, y'all. It's honestly one of the best days of my entire life. So I'm just taking my pin curls down. I did go in and add a little bit of serum in my hands, the same serum, and also some um, Aunt Jackie's uh, curl gloss, or not curl gloss, but like gloss gel or gloss spray, I mean. So I'm just kind of rubbing that throughout the curls. And then this is the fun part. I just like to flip and flip my hair. This just kind of shakes the curls out and gives you body. And then I just play around and I just like to make sure I let the curls fall where they may, especially in the bang area. This is kind of how I kind of shape my little feathered bangs in a sense. But again, I'm gonna have my cap and gown on. So I'm gonna put the cap over my curls. And this is the final look, you guys. I was so pretty. I graduated magnum cum laude from Florida A&M University with the Bachelor's of Science in Public Relations. Again, this was the best day of my entire life. I was so excited to see my family and walk across the stage. But yes, I'm super excited to share more content with you guys in 2022. Thank you for rocking with me and I love y'all.